Hey guys, Hamster Wheel here with a new video and today I want to make a quick video update and share with you guys the fact that I got myself the Epic Hunter Bow and Staff. Now the reason this is quite special for me is one, well, they're really good items, and two, this is the very first time that I've ever done this quest. I've had Hunter characters before on classic private servers, but I never raided with them properly for me to get the bow. And while I did get the bow on a server called Primal Wow, the quest there was bugged, so it was insta-complete. This time though, it was on classic, and there were no handy private server bugs or cash shops to help anyone out. It all came down to knowing the strats and executing them properly. And as someone who's never done this before, I'm amazed by how epic, fun and challenging this quest chain is. And I like that apart from one trick during the Silithus boss, you are unable to get any sort of outside help when trying to kill these demons. It all comes down to how well you control your class and how well you can execute said strategy. When I looked up and understood the strategies though, it did take me a few attempts on some bosses to get them down. The Winter Spring boss was actually super easy and I killed him on the first try. Which I unfortunately didn't capture with OBS as I never thought I would kill him the first time and figured I would warm up first and then turn on OBS for the actual kill. The other demons were not down on the first try though. The one in Umgoro needed some improvisation as the pet used to go out of combat when you would trap it and run away but now it will follow you regardless. After a few tries I got that one down too. And the demon in Burning Steps went down fairly quickly too, which I also forgot to record as once again I didn't think it would go so smoothly and thought I needed a few more warm up rounds. The last one I did was the Silithus demon and unfortunately when me and a friend were scouting the area, some alliance decided to join later on. Long story short, when I decided to go for the kill, one of the hunters decided to grief us by attacking the demon when he was at 18% and the boss vanished. Making us wait for the respawn for like half an hour. Which sucked, but after that we tried again and got him down. I was also lucky enough to obtain a mature black dragon sinew earlier before from Anixia. And after that there was only one thing left to do, which was go to Felwood and collect my items. And now we get to the main reason why I wanted to make this video, and that is to thank everyone who helped me get these items. First I would like to give a big thanks to Executives Gaming and Dre Nation, as those were the two videos I used to figure out exactly how to kill these mobs, as I had no idea how you were supposed to tackle these demons. Next I would like to give a big thanks to Creepy Curse, who was the warlock who dueled me during the Silithus boss and gave me Curse of Recklessness to make me immune to fear. And also my friend Donnerstein, another warlock, for being on standby. Then I want to thank Warp Burgers for applying a few extra buffs like stamina, shadow resistance and also helping to defend against any alliance who were looking to gank me, as well as Garrosh, who also died because he stood way too close to the boss. And <laughs> I'm sorry for showing this on screen right now Garrosh, but it was just too fucking funny. And last but not least, all the other people that showed up to witness me making both the epic bow and the epic staff. I'm super glad I overcame the challenges that this quest chain put upon my hunter. And I can be more thankful that my friends and some really nice guildies decided to help me out. You guys are awesome. And now there's only one thing left to do and that is thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked this little video update and I'll be back soon with more content. But until then, I'm Hamsterwheel and have a good one.